What's up, you guys? This is Karmic Endings TNT, where we talk about karmic situations that could be going on in your life at this time that you need to be aware of, or this could just be confirmation that you made the right decision or you're currently making the right decision. Archangels, spirit guides, ancestors of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel this current ancestor message for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Ancestor message for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Ancestor message for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Enjoy new beginnings. All right, so your ancestors want you to know enjoy new beginnings. Yeah, for some of you guys, you could have children, okay? Or you could have adopted some children or whatever. I feel like your psychic strength could be improving as well as you go out in nature, Okay, so for some of you guys, if you've been increasing going out in nature, that's good. If you haven't, um, you are led to, so your psychic uh, abilities can strengthen. Okay? For some of you guys, you're going to be finding out you're pregnant too, coming up. Okay? I'm hearing for some of y'all, this, this pregnancy is going to be... So for some of y'all, you had a mother figure that passed away. You really love, I'm hearing grandmother. This is like a gift from your, um, your grandmother. Like this is, um, uh, a gift. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Yeah, this is um, a gift from your grandmother. Okay? This, uh, if you're going to find out you're pregnant. Y'all. Aw, that's sweet. Okay. Alright, let's get into it. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Alright. So we have the Queen of Roses. Okay, we have Initiation and the Count Saint Germain. Okay, so for some of you guys, you could be about to get initiated. Yep, you're about to be getting initiated in a situation, is what I'm hearing. Okay. All right. You could be in like very loving energy. Okay, I feel. And you could be about to get initiated. Yeah the willow and we have diversity yes y'all listen you about to be on top of the world stop playing and anybody that was trying to like affect your whatever you was trying to do for work is about to get caught up in a situation all right it's also what i'm seeing but for a lot of you guys you about to be uh getting initiated y'all yeah, your ancestors, yeah, I split the deck on a fiery climax approaches. That's what I split the deck on. Y'all, and you know we got the, the moon is in Aries right now. And that's Aries card, so Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This could be a, a spiritually or, you know, physically. Okay, you could be getting initiated, okay, in a situation here. You're going to be sitting on top of the world. Something to do with mountains could be significant. For some of you guys, you could stay around um, trees. Trees could be very significant. I'm hearing trees. Okay? Yeah, look. Connect with your emotions. Yeah, for some of you guys, trust and thrive. Your ancestors are saying you having a you having a um, struggle with trusting something here. All right, surround yourself with protective energy. All right. Yeah, for some of you guys, your ancestors want you to get in touch with your emotions so you can trust something. Okay, it's something that you need to be trusting, but you could be having a problem with trust. All right, be brave and honest. Yeah, look at this, bottom of the deck. A win-win outcome is coming. All right. For some of you guys, you could have a moon in Libra. I feel like for some of you guys, you could be oracles or very, very, very intuitive. Like your intuition be on point for real. All right. 
I feel like this spring, some things is going to be taken off within your career and stuff like that. So that's great energy as well. Okay. So your emotions is very, very, very important right now. Okay. Like your emotions is like very important. Okay. When it comes to your journey here. All right, so make sure you are staying in tune with your emotions. That's what your uh, your ancestors want you to do, okay? Because you got Queen of Roses, which is like emotional. That's like Queen of Cups energy. And then you got the <clears throat> Water Guardian, okay? So that's like, you know, emotion, emotion. I'm hearing emotion, okay? So really make sure your emotions is aligned, okay, in a situation, all right, because you could be in the midst of being initiated. Okay, this could be spiritually. This could be going up a higher rank is what I'm hearing. So this could be going up a higher rank. Okay, but your emotions got to be in tune for this to happen though. All right, you got to make sure your emotions is right. If you're, if you know your emotions is is aligned, then you could, then you're about to be initiated spiritually, or this could be physically. Okay, you could be about to go through initiation process. Okay, um, for some of you guys, you are about to get promoted at your job. You could be about to be like in a very high up position at your job, like CEO energy, like top, top, top dog. Okay, it's also what I'm hearing. All right, for a lot of you guys, your ancestors want you to. Tune into your emotions because that's going to open up a lot of doors for you, you know, in a lot of different ways here, okay? Yeah, a page of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. So it's like, yeah, this has definitely got something with a new job or something like that could be, you know? For some of y'all, you're going to go into a new job and you're going to, like, go at the top. Like, you're going to get offer. Uh, you're going to go into a job for some of y'all and you're just going to go straight to the top. Like, it's going to be like... They're going to want you to be in like a very like high up position is what I'm hearing. So you're not going to have to go through like certain steps or whatever. You're going to go like straight in and up. That's what I'm hearing. And for some of y'all, you're going to get like promoted to a high, high level. Okay. Like you're going to get offered the promotion, whether you take it or not. Look at that. Hierophant. Yeah. Yup. So this is like a higher position, all right? So this is giving me promotion energy, all right? So why is this trust and thrive um, in the reverse spirit? For Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, ancestors of my highest good, why is trust and thrive in the reverse? Okay, so King of Swords, which is about profession. Make sure you're staying structured and disciplined. Okay, for a lot of you guys, you have gift of discernment here. Okay, I feel like you guys could be detached. This is also detached card as well. Okay, detached from your emotions. Okay, so this is confirmation that you could be really detached from your emotions. Okay, but I'm seeing here with the Six of Cups that your ancestors is coming in to give you some kind of help though with that. All right, yeah. Yeah, they're going to come in and help you with it. Because I'm hearing your ancestors say, I'd be damned if we allow, if we, if you think we're going to let you go into another cycle with this shit. Okay? <laughs> so for some of y'all, your ancestors is really like going to try to help you like with this. Okay? They they got their little like ways that they going to help you with it. If you are in tune, you're going to follow these ways um, to help you like get really in tune with your emotions. Okay? Because that's important. Like, where you at in your journey, that's, like, very important. Okay? But you will have a win-win outcome coming in a situation. For some of you guys, it's a um, conversation coming um, that you should not trust. Okay? Like, it's a conversation coming from somebody. Um, a king of swords energy. Okay? This could be a very professional person. This person is going to come to you with some lying ass shit, okay, is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that this person is going to try to come in and, like, gift you with some shit so you, so you can stay in a cycle with them. This person is going to try to win you over with some kind of gift. But I, I'm hearing your ancestors say, stand your ground to this motherfucker, though. Because 
if you if you go into a new cycle with this person, it's just gonna keep you off balance. Okay, it's it's gonna like it's gonna keep you juggling. You're gonna be juggling and shit. Okay, something to do with a Libra, Scorpio, Leo, Capricorn. Okay, and you could be dealing with a, a Libra. You know your sign or something like that. Or for some of y'all, this could be a Libra. Okay, as well. That's that you shouldn't trust the conversation with. Okay. All right, that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, somebody could be dark skin. All right, somebody could be chocolate. Okay. All right, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. For some of y'all, you're going to be um, asked to speak at like a school or something like that. Or like an event. Okay, is what I'm hearing too. You're going to get asked to speak at a, like an event or something like that. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. For some of y'all, I'm hearing you're going to be performing and it's going to be a lot of shit going on with the equipment. So make sure before you like go on stage and perform, your equipment is right because I'm seeing that your equipment going to be pissing you off. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? When you go on stage and shit like that. So make sure before you perform and shit, your shit, you know, is, a, is right because I'm seeing somebody really getting pissed off about some equipment not, you know, being right or something. All right, we have drug addict. All right, we have colorful socks, real as fuck, multiple ear piercings, flight, five, five to six feet. We have singer. We have Taurus, boxers, right arm tattoos. Somebody could be slim thick. Natural hair, dark eyes, actor, actress, 70s, African, watch, and somebody could be real small, okay? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I also want to see what do you need to be brave and honest about? What does Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius need to be honest about? Ancestors. What does Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius need to be honest about? Who you passionate about? So you could be needing to be honest about who you passionate about and make the move. Okay? Six of Swords. Because you're being guided. You're being guided by your ancestors to make the move. Yeah, and it will be justice, okay? We got strong Libra out here. And um, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Is what I'm seeing here. So, yeah, be brave and honest about who you, like, fuck with. Because I'm hearing that with your ancestors, it's coming from... I'm hearing, it, I'm hearing them say it's coming from us. So, like, be brave and honest about who it is that you passionate about. Okay, for some of y'all, you could be passionate about a fire sign or a Libra or a, a Aquarius. All right, be brave and honest about that shit, okay? Because it's going to be a, a great new beginning. All right, so we got Aries. Something to do with four years, four months. Somebody's birthday could be the fourth of the month. Uh-oh. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right, so we got F. All right, we got Virgo. Somebody could be a double, a Virgo could be significant. Somebody could have been born in 99 or 94. Something to do with 49 could be significant. All right, we got Capricorn as well. All 
I'm hearing Pat, Patricia, Gabrielle. All right, something to do with a, uh, a Taurus. So we have 49, 41, 59, 54. 94, 95, 91, 19, 15, and 14. Okay. I'm hearing Tasha too. All right. This could be about somebody that love wearing hats too. Somebody could love wearing hats on their head and stuff like that. And somebody could have. Okay. C2. Somebody could have a cat or cats. Okay. Somebody, something with WhatsApp could be significant. WhatsApp, okay? All right, you guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Look in the description box below for any other information about me. And until next time, peace.